वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश सेवन नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द फिफ्टी के जी फ्लावर पॉट इज सस्पेंडेड फ्राम वायर ए बी एंड बी सी विच हैज़ अ डायमीटर ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड टू मिलीमीटर रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ वायर हैज़ अ नॉर्मल फेरियल स्ट्रेस ऑफ थ्री फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑफ ईच वायर सो दिस इज वायर ए बी एंड बी सी एंड दिस पॉट ऑफ फिफ्टी के जी सस्पेंडेड फ्राम एट द डायमीटर ऑफ दिस वायर ए बी इज 1.5 मिलीमीटर विच इज़ 0.0015 मीटर वाइल डायमीटर ऑफ दिस वायर बी सी इज़ टू मिलीमीटर विच इज़ जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो टू मिलीमीटर मास ऑफ फ्लावर इज़ फिफ्टी फ्लावर पॉट इज़ फिफ्टी के जी एंड इट्स वेट विल बी फिफ्टी इंटू नाइन पॉइंट वन एट मीटर द फेलियर स्ट्रेस इज़ थ्री फिफ्टी मेगा पास कल सो यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑफ वायर ए बी एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑफ वायर बी सी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज़ दैट वी विल फाइंड दिस फोर्स इन वायर ए बी एंड बी सी एंड वी विल अप्लाई इक्वलिब्रियम कंडीशन सो इफ यू हैव दिस वायर एंड दिस हैव फोर्स एफ ए बी एंड दिस वायर विल हैव फोर्स एफ बी सी सो इट विल हैव टू कंपोनेंट वन विल बी दिस एंड द अदर वन विल बी दिस कंपोनेंट so this will be f b c this is 45 degree so this will be also 45 degree and this component f b c will be equal to uh, this component will be equal to f b c into sin of 45 degree while this component will be f b c into cos of 45 degree similarly this force f b a b will have two component one is horizontal and other one is vertical so this f vertical force f, f vertical force will be f b into sin of 30 degree because this is 30 degree so this is alternate angle this will be also 30 degree and this horizontal component will be equal to f a b into cos of 30 degree so we will apply equilibrium condition at point b point b so first equilibrium condition is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force in upward direction is positive so we have one force upward is this the second force is this and the third one is the weight of the pot which will be downward and that will be equal to 50 into 9.81 their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write fab into sin of 30 degree plus fbc into sin of 45 degree minus 50 into 9.81 their sum must be equal to 0 so this is your let's say this is your i will write it again so you have a sufficient space f a b into sin of 30 degree plus f b c into sin of 45 degree minus 50 into 9.81 is equal to 0 let this is your equation number 1 we will apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all force along x direction is equal to 0 and force in this direction is positive so we have two force one is this in positive direction having this value and another one is this one this is in negative direction their sum must be equal to 0 so f b c into cos of 45 degree is in positive direction minus f a b into cos of 30 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so you can further simplify f b c is f b c into cos of 45 degree is equal to f a b into cos of 30 degree and this f b c is equal to f a b into cos of 30 degree divided by cos of 45 degree so let this is your equation number 2 now put the value of f b c over here 
put equation 2 in equation 1 you have to do it by yourself so you will get fab will equal to 359.07 newton and when you get fab so if you can put it in equation 2 so you will get fbc is equal to 439.77 newton now we will move further we will find the normal average normal stress in each wire so i will write average normal stress so how we will find in wire a b and b c so what we will do is that we know that average normal stress in wire a b is equal to f a b divided by area of a b similarly average normal stress in wire b c is equal to f b c divided by area of b c so we have f a b which is equal to 359.07 divided by area which is pi by 4 diameter of a b is given as 0. Point, let me check it a b is 0. 0.0015 0. Point, 0.0015 square and average normal stress in bc is equal to 439.77 divided by pi by 4 into 0. 0.002 square so when you calculate it you will get this average stress in wire a b comes out to be 203.19 megapascal while average normal stress in wire bc comes out to be 139.98 megapascal now you have both stresses so we use this result we use these results in order to calculate factor of safety for wire so factor of safety of wire a b is equal to failure stress divided by average stress of a b similarly factor of safety of b c is equal to failure stress divided by average stress of wire b c so you can put the value failure stress is 350 megapascal so 350 divided by 203.19 clear and that will be equal to factor of safety in wire a b comes out to be 1.72 while factor of safety in wire b c is equal to 350 divided by 139.98 and that will be equal to 2.50 so these are the these two are the answer of our this question number 1.79 i hope you have enjoyed this video and again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching the videos Thank you.